So hi everyone, my name is Peter and today we, we are in Vancouver uh, at Canadian College with Mila. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Thank you for your time. Good to hear, have you here. So Canadian College is uh, one of the schools in Vancouver and today we'll be talking about, uh, about the school and about its college programs and English courses programs. And also we touch a little bit uh, the immigration as well because Mila, she studied immigration at UBC in Vancouver. So for a start, could you tell us a little bit about yourself and what's your background and what's your role at the school? Yeah. Um, hi everybody again. <laughs> Welcome to Canadian College. Um, I am part of our marketing team. Um, I do manage and help students with, from Europe, uh, Eastern Europe, Ukraine, Russia, Kazakhstan, Turkey, all those countries. I'm originally from Ukraine, came here 12 years ago, thought I was coming only for six months and it never happened that I went back. That happens to a lot of people who come to Vancouver. That's true, they so just fall in love <laughs> with the city, with people, with the whole vibe of the positive environment. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've been with the school for like 10 years. I love the school, love the courses. Any course I can talk about non-stop because I really believe in high quality of education at this college. Now, I'm also an immigration consultant, regulated immigration consultant. Um, due to the need that I was going through the immigration process and of course many of my students who did the same thing would come here for short term and, and then they want to stay, the right? Study, they and want they, to stay. They need some help usually because they need to find a way how to navigate through and you know how to stay a bit longer. Yeah, exactly. And I don't like when people think about immigrating through studies as a way to like mm. jump through the hoops. Um, mainly, you would always need your studies when you're coming to the new country because uh, we don't even offer you all day lectures. Yeah. We offer you really practical uh, skills, practical mm. courses. But I really, my passion is to look at you, at your background, to ask you what, where do you see yourself? What do you want to achieve? And then pick, do you need more English? Do you need more practical courses? Do you need some work experience? Mm. Let's take a look about about which way is going to yeah. be better for you. Which is, I would say, the goal of like international colleges in, in Vancouver to prepare you for uh, for the Canadian system, you know, because um, because it's different, and just uh, prepare you for the for the labor market for your career. Or if you know, start a business, you can even start a business. Why not? Yeah. And so definitely my. Diploma in Immigration from UBC has helped me a lot with the knowledge, but my practice comes when I deal with real people and trust me, everybody has a plan A and plan B. Okay. So, Canadian College, could you tell us a little bit about the school? It started in 1991 as a small family business English school. Uh, with Jim Clark teaching international students and teaching English to a small group of students. Now we are over a thousand students college, part of the bigger group, part of the bigger uh, international business group. So, and now we have three colleges here. We have English School, Canadian College of English Language, offering mainly um, English uh, courses for students from 16 years and older. Then we have a private college, Canadian college, offering work and study programs uh, in business, trade, tourism, IT, project management. And we partnered up with St. Lawrence College, which is a public college from Ontario, to offer under and postgraduate certificates and diplomas to international students. So you actually, on one campus, have a choice of anything you want to achieve with the best support that we can offer. Besides the classes, the courses, we also offer accommodation. We have a student residence here. Well, the college is located in business center of downtown Vancouver, close to everything. That's right. SkyTrain, bus stops, beach, park, everything. So we walk in downtown. Then our student residence is 10 minutes walk away. 
and students have an option to stay with the Canadian homestays. So first let's talk about the Canadian uh, College of English because I know the uh, Canadian College is a, is a bit unique and different than other schools in town so could you tell us a little bit about the programs and what's like the main in difference. Um, of course, many English schools are offering courses to, to improve your language and it can be in your city, in your country or in any other country that is closer to you. So why would you want to fly all the way to Vancouver to, for only short-term ESL classes? Canadian College of English Language offers unique English courses. It's a, first of all, it's a paperless school. So we wouldn't give you the books, we wouldn't give you one-page printouts, you wouldn't be carrying all those books home and back to school. We use technology, we use, we first of all look at what are your interests as a personality, as a generation. What do we do? We use social media, we use computer a lot, we use it at home and we use it at work. So why don't we teach you English in the way that will prepare you for real jobs? or for real studies, or for real traveling and leisure. So everybody comes to classes with their laptops, everybody logs in into their system. It's smart English curriculum was developed by our teachers using technology, using Google platform, using all those tools like Google Documents, sharing information, video, making videos, uploading, all that. So students actually not only improve their English, but they also brush up their computer skills. Mm. And it's very simple. It doesn't matter whether you are scared of technology. Like, I had my mom here <laughs> attending classes and she was like, I don't know what to press or, or I don't, I'm not comfortable with it. It was like the matter of three days for mm. her to understand how to use it, where to use it and continue learning grammar, watching videos, it's all about you having the access to all those resources in English. Uh, whether you're reading it, um, watching or listening, it will all come together when you need to get it out of yourself, right? Yeah, yeah. We all have to make the most out mm. of technology. If I have the teacher here, of course it's human interaction and she or he is explaining all the points. But when I go home, I don't remember what was going on yeah. in, the, in the class, so... And it's great when you have it all the time, like, on you, you can, like, look at it, like, you can just save the documents, because I don't even own a pen. Yeah. I, I Really, I don't have a pen or paper. Yeah. Like, I don't take notes, like, because I'm, I'm just losing. Like, I leave it somewhere and I don't want to carry it, you know? Same with books. Smart English it has <laughs> an app, so yeah. you can do even your homework from your phone. As long as you know what's going on and what you're mm -hmm. doing, it doesn't matter how, whether it's from your computer, tablet or phone. Also, you can watch the video recordings of that or this grammar point. You can record yourself as a, your own speaking assignment at home and share it with the teacher. So it really saves a lot of operations uh, yes. time and get to the point. So we are all here to teach students English for different purposes. If you want it just for yourself, it's general English. If you need it for, maybe you have a working holiday visa along the way, so you need to get ready for the jobs, we teach English for hospitality, we teach business English where you learn how to build your resume, how to do interviews. We also have IELTS preparation, English for academic purposes, is really useful for those students who are planning to go and study at one of the uh, universities or colleges in any English-speaking mm. countries. So, yeah, that's our English school. Well, and now let's talk about uh, the college programs. So you mentioned that you have your own Canadian college programs and you also teach the St. Lawrence college programs. So what's the difference between those two? Um, as we all know, in any country, we always have public and private sector of education. Uh, when I try to explain to the students, I make an example of your own country, where 
public schooling would be always cheaper for you as we have for Canadians, Canadian citizens or permanent residents, it will be cheaper, it will be more affordable or you will have more access to any program. Private college for Canadian students will be more expensive. For international students, it goes all the way around because here in Canada, private college uh, programs will be cheaper for you. They're more flexible with payments, with entry requirements. They're smaller, you will have a smaller classrooms with more attention to you as an international student in a new country. Yeah. Uh, public schools will be more expensive with higher um, entry level uh, for international students because you will not be treated as an international student. You will still be treated as a local, yeah, yeah. As, a local as part of the class. So it's really, you have to understand. You don't have a choice not to understand because that's the criteria. And here on our campus, we have both. We have Canadian College as a private school and we have St. Lawrence College as a, private, uh, as a public school. The difference uh, for international student goes back also to visa regulations. What kind of visa can I get and what do I get after graduation? So Canadian College offers core programs, work and study programs. Let's say you are here doing English school and then you're deciding between private or public. Think about your prior education, work experience and your level of English. If your English is a little bit lower, if you have one or two years of work experience and you are very flexible in terms of looking for a job and you are thinking about immigration in the future, or you've already spent like one year working holiday visa, right? You already know what kind of jobs are available. So you want to get to the supervisor's level to gain skilled work experience in Canada. Um, you can choose work and study programs. Um, so these are programs in business management, international trade, export import, hospitality management, tourism, project management, IT and social media marketing. Here you get study and work permit. So you can study 20 hours per week during study semesters full time during co-op. Co-op is paid jobs. You work for real Canadian companies. We do support you with co-op search, co-op placement. Um, I don't think it's possible to guarantee the placement because it all goes back to you mm -hmm. as a person, as a professional and as a candidate for that co-op place but we do equip you with all the skills mm -hmm. and knowledge where, how and what to do yeah. in the process of work. So like, even like I personally find out that there are like differences like in applying for a job in Canada and in other countries, right? So it's definitely great to, to learn that, how to write your CV, how to approach companies, how to you know, uh, do the interview yeah. and all these things, for sure. Different um, requirements for the mm. CV. Do you yeah, need a picture sure. doing... Yeah. As simple as that, do you need to put your photo or not? Or how like, to do I, the I, interview? I don't you're going to waste and miss a lot of opportunities. It's a competition. Yeah. Mm. Life is a competition. <laughs> and then how to do the interview. Um, some cultures have really strict rules about the interview, really strict rules to the mm. to the way you're dressed, what to ask, what not to ask. Maybe here, um, also depending on the industry, some companies will be more laid back and, mm. and relaxed because they really care about you as a personality and what you can bring to the company. And then they can explore your skills and how you how to see you, to identify you as a personality and part of the whole group. Because I do believe that we here work as a team, yeah. balancing the life work uh, proportion and try to enjoy and get the most mm -hmm. out of it. All right, so that was the Canadian College programs and now the St. Lawrence program. Now, St. Lawrence College is a public college from Ontario and they are our really great partner. We offer their programs of um, computer networking and tech support, 
healthcare admin, business, and general arts on our campus. And these are also uh, two-year undergrad uh, programs or one-year mm -hmm. postgraduate certificates. The beauty of these programs are uh, that when you study, you study, work 20 hours per week or full-time during summer break, but then after graduation, you get one to three year postgraduate work permit. And that is amazing because it's an yeah. open work permit. You get a chance to really gain skilled work experience in Canada after learning everything about what you're learning and plan your immigration, stay in Canada, staying with the company where you work, depending on your goals. Mm. So these, both of these programs, they lead you towards, if you choose, mm -hmm. we don't say, oh, come and immigrate here through study. Yeah, it depends on yeah. what you want. Anyway. But if you do have, it's a, like a domino effect. You mm. come here for one thing, you study, another do door opens because you have a, this amazing job. Mm -hmm. So you start working, you're thinking, okay, I'll work and then go back to my country. And then you like what you do and the company appreciates you. So of course you will start considering staying here permanently. And if the company can support you or if there is mm -hmm. any immigration program that you can fall under, why not? Yeah. This is a great country to be part of to to contribute to its development and feel good about your skills <laughs> and personal yeah. part. I know maybe it sounds like a bit complicated about like different programs and different schools and public and private, but that's why we are here basically, right? To like together like find out what you want, like what's your goal, what's your expectations, and then to like together like pick the best option, you know, the best program and school and uh, kind of make a plan, create a plan to achieve that. Exactly. The The main point of this video and why we mm. are talking about here right now is not to talk about the school. You can read about the school. Go to our website, CanadianCollege.com. I'll give you all the links and we have lots of videos. But mm. our main message is like us, um, you can always ask. The mm. more you ask, the faster and the more clear yeah. answers come your way. So, and then you can read but and have one idea, but maybe you will have a totally different mm -hmm. plan when you come and talk to us. Yeah. And we always look at other students who came here before, look at ourselves and look at you. Mm -hmm. What's your goal? Because you have like 10 years of experience, right? So. You've seen a lot of students, you have, you've helped a lot of students, so you know, you've seen those different scenarios, so if someone comes with a, maybe a similar goal, and you've seen it before, so you can definitely help, and like I've seen you working, I've seen you working with someone, when you like, right away you line up like, okay, these are the options, what you can do, how you can stay, how you can like approach it, and it's, it's just great. It was mm. naturally for me, and logically for me, mm. to become a uh, regulated immigration consultant, because I really wanted to give support to you as a student, to you as a, a temporary person in Canada and explain that it's not com it is complicated, but everybody has plan A and plan B. So where do you fit? It's always a question and we can sit down, chat, laugh and uh, figure out what's going on. Um, but yeah, majority of students as we mentioned, they stay here, really successful stories, working for different big companies, smaller companies, some of them are self-employed or some of them start really great businesses. You know what? I know just a few of them who even went back to Ukraine and they're doing amazingly well. Mm -hmm. They work for international companies, even in Ukraine, traveling across Europe, dealing with different buyers. They were like trade program uh, students. So they love it as well. Just for some reason, they they had the reasons to go back. Yeah. All right. And the next thing I would like to talk about is um, uh, is the immigration. Because again, you have like so many years of experience. I'm, and I'm still learning, you know, like I'm, I'm getting there because I know there are different ways and, you know, like uh, how to like extend 
your stay, even if you want to stay another year or two, or if you want to immigrate. Let's go back to studies, then work. So you can come here even as a visitor, right? Mm. To look around, visitor, travel. Gives you, yeah, right. travel, get to know what's going on here. But That's you can't. A, yeah, you cannot work, <laughs> you can only study for short, attend short term mm. classes, and that's it. Now, if you come here as a tourist or visitor and you want to study, there are different ways of changing your status from visitor to student. Either you go back to your country, apply for student visa, or here through the states, or here through the pathway programs that we also offer from our English school to any of our colleges. So that is possible as well. Now, any educational institution, designated learning institution with academic programs, should uh, make you eligible to study full time and work um, at least 20 hours per week during studies and full time during uh, scheduled breaks. If it's golf programs like we have at Canadian College, um, 20 hours per week you can work anywhere, part time jobs, full time. Co-op hours should be related to what you study. Mm. And it's always still working for Canadian companies. It just has to be approved by the college. Now, when you studied here, you worked here, and you were like, I want to stay, mm. it's actually a great idea to start having that feeling. The earlier, the better, yeah. because- It takes time, the process takes time, right? Planning is everything as well as choosing the right program mm. is saving you time and money and makes it more efficient. If you think that public school um, studies are more expensive and you choose sh like one year cheaper program at a private college, but then after graduation you cannot get work mm. permit, then maybe it was not your choice. Yeah. If you have when you're planning to uh, immigrate to Canada, it all goes back to your skilled work experience, either from your country or here from Canada. We have federal skilled worker program where the minimum requirement is a one year skilled work experience as a supervisor or at a position where you could supervise people or make your own decisions, have uh, all perform all the duties, have all the skilled um, uh, background mm. to do it. Uh, now you have to have good education. Um, the best is if it's bachelor's, even better if it's master's degree, um, or it can be bachelor's plus one or two year diploma or certificate. Then um, you have to speak English. The higher mm -hmm. your English is, the more points more you get. Yet and you, the more you compete, you are more compatible as opposed to other candidates. Now, if you don't have any work experience, maybe you're high school graduates in your, graduate in your country, college graduate, or even bachelor with bachelor's degree, but with zero work experience, or you couldn't commit to one job for one year, um, then public school program will be a good choice for you. Because you need to get the experience here, right? Yeah, it goes back again to that exactly one year, minimum one year mm. of skilled work experience. So studying for one year at a public college like St. Lawrence College or two year uh, college program will give you the open work permit. One year studies gives you one year work permit, two year studies up to three years work permit. So while you're studying, you're looking for a job. Mm -hmm. When you get open work permit, you start gaining your skilled work experience, and then you may be eligible then to apply for permanent residency through Canadian Experience Class program. Lastly, each province mm -hmm. has a set of their own programs uh, based on the labor market and based on the shortage in specific area. That's actually how we even came up with programs at Canadian College. We looked at, okay, if we are going to offer work and study programs, we don't want to offer some programs where you will never find jobs in Vancouver yeah. because this is not the industry here. So we chose business because it's a big, broad area. We chose trade, expert import because it's a big port city. 
students find their jobs mm -hmm. in logistics companies, export import companies, even providing services between the countries. It's an amazing area where international students are even more preferable candidates because of your background, because of uh, speaking other languages, because of knowing other countries' regulations or the ways they do business. So lots of chances of finding jobs there. Tourism and hospitality, it's a big destination for, sure. um, for tourists. Me. Yeah, and That's why you also, you've told me that uh, at Canadian College, at the hospitality program, you prepare and train students to be supervisors, right? Yeah, you can go and get a job as a front desk or a waiter. Mm -hmm. Yes, that can be your part-time job. But if you really want to build a career in this industry, and it's an amazing industry, you know that we can be just so, tra so much yeah, mm -hmm. traveling, getting benefits from working for hotels, mm -hmm. getting benefits from working for, for the restaurants. As a student working for the restaurants, you can eat or, or yeah. get something like um, additional mm. that you can enjoy. So definitely. But at some point you want to be a supervisor, right? Yeah. So supervising, you really need to have skills mm. to supervise people, to organize, to do operations, to supervise front desk, food and beverage department, mm. housekeeping department, who is responsible, what are the regulations. Mm. On top of that, we offer these programs together with American Hotel and Lodging Association. Trade is offered with form of international trade training. So you become an international trade professional or a recognized hospitality mm -hmm. management professional on a high level where when the companies know about your designation and your level of practical knowledge, based on this certification. Now, going back to provincial programs, we also have, we also offer IT programs because IT industry is booming right now. There is such a big shortage of mm -hmm. IT professionals in Vancouver, in British Columbia, that other areas, other industries cannot um, develop on the level they plan to develop. That's why British Columbia especially attracts lots of IT professionals, tech developers, web developers, all that developers to come work here, stay I've here heard, and live. I've heard Vancouver is called like the new Silicon Valley. Yeah. Right? Because all the tech is like yeah. booming right now and all the startups. Definitely. And mm. each each company, regardless of the industry, yeah. we all need everything digitalized right now. <laughs> And social media marketing was our last program that we added at Canadian College because of the need and the opportunities for our students that they can work for different companies, um, working on branding, promotions, running campaigns in social media and having their full to go portfolios working either on their own or for the bigger companies. Now. The province of BC, each province in Canada, I would say kind of competes for the smartest, mm. most skillful uh, professionals. So in British Columbia, we have several provincial nomination programs that will help you stay in British Columbia, first of all, and then stay here in Canada as a permanent resident. So the first one is skilled worker stream where the minimum requirements are you need to have minimum two years of skilled work experience in, Can in Canada or outside of Canada, speak English on a good level, not the highest, on a good level, have the education or the college or university degree, and have a job offer from the company in BC. So we actually have this work and study programs where you can definitely benefit from it. You come here, you have two years of skilled work experience and education from your country. You study here for one year. Six months you study, you gain North American practical knowledge and the way you learn how, the way the business operates, and you look for a job. You have, you've had like six months to look for a job. Yes. 
Mm-hmm. Exactly. So once you get a job... With the support of the school, so you should be able to... Everybody yeah. is mm-hmm. here to guide you, to give you mm-hmm. some guidance and just yeah. cheer you up. So I don't think you will not be able to, mm-hmm. unless it's an imaginary job. <laughs> and then when you are lucky or when you are skillful enough to find that job, you start start working either part-time or uh, turn it into a full-time co-op. Mm-hmm. Prove yourself to the company. Show them how yeah. you can uh, benefit the company. And then after one, two months, you can ask the company mm-hmm. if they like you as a professional and part of their team, would they be willing to sponsor you and uh, help you with further immigration mm-hmm. steps. Now, sponsoring the, the person through provincial nomination is not that difficult for the company. They basically are confirming that you've been already working for them. You have the background that is suitable for the, for the position and they want you to continue working for the company to, to grow the business. Um, you apply for nomination during your co period because it, you can gain the most of points to compete with other candidates. Mm-hmm. And we did have the approved BCPNP nomination application qualifies you for PR application and while you're waiting for work permit application. So we actually had students from different countries, from Ukraine, from Russia, from Colombia, from Mexico, from El Salvador, Mm -hmm. any country that met this uh, program, immigration program, graduated from the college with the Canadian College Certificate or Diploma, approved BCPNP nomination, work permit in their hands, and PR either in their hands or in process. Yeah. And that's that's the success. After one one year. After one year. That's right. Yeah. Mm. They got all the tools they needed, Mm. they put all their soul and brain into this process and they they got they got it. Yeah. It's definitely not not like easy or like for granted or like but if you like put in the work, right, you you find a job, you work hard, you prove prove yourself and you take the right steps, which uh, you know, and then you're able to do it, which is amazing. Yeah. Going back to IT sector, (laughs) tech sector. British Columbia is in such a need of these professionals that provincial nomina- nomination a program has a special tech pilot for this specific field. So they have the list of 20, I think 21, 23 positions. Mm. Uh, if you work in this field, for example, web developer or programming or something like tech support, uh, you and you find this uh, employer, you apply for nomination, you can get this nomination within one month. It's two to four weeks that the process is taken, as opposed to three, three months in mm-hmm. regular nomination applications, but it's in one month the decision is made, you're applying for work permit and you're applying for your PR. <laughs> That's how it's done. There is another stream Mm -hmm. in um, provincial nominations where maybe if you qualify for working holiday visa Mm -hmm. or if you get postgraduate work permit and you are still not sure about your level of super, whether you're ready for supervisor's position Mm -hmm. or not, but you can easily get like um, entry level positions in hospitality and tourism industry. There is a stream for that as well, because BC has a shortage of professionals working in entry-level positions. So that is, when you get a full-time job offer to work, wait, a bartender, hostess, casino attendants, housekeepers, uh, kitchen helpers, and uh, and many more, there is a list of uh, positions. You work for the company with the open work permit for nine months and then you can apply for nomination um, with the support of this company saying that we want this person to continue working for us. That's another stream. So that's also a way of staying here as a nominee 
getting again work permit and applying for permanent residency. So as I said, there is always plan A, plan B, and even plan C for everybody. <laughs> All right, that was great. Thank you so much for your time. Any last thoughts? Um, it's your planning. It's actually your goals, your dreams, or your life. So we are here to support you with any of the questions about mm. studies, work, uh, immigration, English studies, where to start and where to finish. Um, please contact us and we are looking forward to having you here with us in Vancouver and at Canadian College. Awesome. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.